Hello everyone and welcome to episode 198 of Report This Post, the podcast about bad posts and bad people. My name's Geiger and that is Christian. I didn't even look up uh, any sort of tagline or anything for this one because I hated this topic the most out of all the ones we've done so far. And we are your hosts with the posts. Every week, Christian, myself, or a listener select a different topic and then find horrible posts for your listening pleasure. Mm -hmm. And this week's dastardly topic (laughs) is chosen by a real scamp. Uh, Will from North Carolina is cookie run. That's right. Now, there's probably very few people listening to this episode because uh, why would anyone listen to (laughs) an episode about what is this cookie run thing again exactly? Sure, I have it up here. It has a Wikipedia page, which is great. Cookie Run is a series of online mobile endless running games Mm. developed by Dev Sisters. Inspired by the classic folktale, The Gingerbread Man. Okay, that starts to make a little more sense now. Okay. The series is set in a world of conscious (laughs) gingerbread cookies that were brought to life in an oven by a witch and have since escaped her evil clutches. Each game has a mechanic of the cookies running to earn points and items, overcome obstacles, and to fight or escape enemies. So it's a a little game on your phone that you look at when you're bored (laughs) uh, in the bathroom or on the your subway or whatever during your work day sure when you're cram- you're really slouched down in your cubicle and your boss doesn't really even know you're there doesn't even remember your name so or based on the number of posts that we have in this episode if you're a weird ass 17 year old <laughs> stuck in your room all day uh yeah a lot of odd characters are into this uh silly little game for some reason uh from what looks like just a very generic mobile game, apparently has a huge audience. And I would guess it's because there's a bunch of different collectible cookie characters in the game, and they are have some sort of perverted uh, look, influence. I'm looking at these characters, and they just... People literally jerk off to this stuff. It's pretty. Well, hey, um, don't ruin the episode. <laughs> well, they do. that's the mildest thing they do with this shit, as you guys will hear. Yep. Whatever. Big community for this stuff. Uh, now, why did Will from North Carolina choose this topic? Oh, I'd love to tell you. So, asked Will. He responded back. The preview post from the Come Town episode that we did last week shows exactly mm-hmm. why I thought this would be a good topic. It's the usual fandom stuff, but made such more, such much more baffling by the fact that they're all just gingerbread men. Yeah. People want to do some truly unspeakable things to these pastries. I'm also not offended by you calling it a game for gay babies. That's what I expected and hoped for when I bought the topic. <laughs> Don't remember calling it that, but that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Will, uh, he's a patron of the show, and he was able to choose this topic by joining the Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash report this post. You joined at the mod level for 10 bucks a month. And if you do that, you stay a patron for three months, you get to pick an episode topic. Or you can join at the admin level, $25 a month, which people have done, believe it or not. And you get to pick an episode after two months. Or you can head over to reportthispost.com, smash that buy topic button, skip all that waiting, uh, except for the waiting till 2023 for the episode to actually go through the rotation but otherwise you have a couple options to choose a topic will i believe has actually chosen uh, two topics because he's been at that mod level for long enough that he's been uh, capable of doing it so good for him <laughs> we're going to get to his other topic in a few months and i might be looking at that one look forward to that one even less than this one <laughs> so can't wait for that yeah, so this is a, it's a really odd odd topic, um, but there's, I think as we'll, dis- we'll discover here real soon, uh, probably not a bad idea to go with this topic. Or was it? Yeah, and I can honestly say, personally, I've never heard of this game until uh, this guy chose the topic, certainly never played it. I watched one 30-second video uh, the other day, baffled that anyone would spend any time whatsoever thinking about this game uh but yeah i'm assuming you've never played no it's not for me 
Uh, I have played in a couple endless runner games before. Um, harkens back to the days of Flappy Bird. Remember Flappy Bird? Oh, yeah. Just, uh, yeah, just not for me, man. I don't know. Seems uh, goofy, I would think is the best way to say it. I, it's just hard to imagine even defining yourself by one of these games because they're just so... It's like being like an Excel fan or something. Like <laughs> just a thing that's on your computer or the, phone. The, yeah, the idea that this has spawned some sort of long, overreaching fandom, and yeah. there's lore, and there's fan stuff, and there's controversy. Controversy. Lots and there's lots of controversy. Sonic and Tails are in this fucking thing, for God's sakes. Which I guess makes sense if you think about it, if you're running, right? Sure, and when you consider the perverts as well, that makes <laughs> perfect sense. Hey, folks, Sonic does have flesh-colored arms in Cookie Run, so at least there's one thing they got right. Absolutely. All right, well, I'll just go ahead and read this goddamn post we got for this fucking thing. I'd love to. Here's a thread from a Twitter account called Wildberry Cookie, okay. who tweets exclusively Cookie Run content. Warning, this thread contains discussion of racism and pedophilia. Hello again, guys. <laughs> Today we want to address the highly debated Valentine's uh, Day cookie run video. It's a cookie game. <laughs> we are aware of the video that Dev Sisters released showcasing whitewashed characters and pedophilic ships. We sympathize with those personally affected by it. Fictional pedophilia has immense potential to cause harm to minors and trauma survivors, whether it's done intentionally or not. Even if the person producing or consuming it doesn't intend to harm anyone, the mere act benefits predators. The production will reach actual pedophiles, and the consumption emboldens them. We want to elaborate a bit more on the issue of whitewashing, since featuring said pieces is particularly distasteful during Black History Month. (laughs) We are not saying that every person who has whitewashed a character is violently racist. But we are saying that no matter the artist's intentions, it will eventually reach violent racists who will then weaponize it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So what's the point of this thread? Firstly, to raise awareness of these issues, and secondly, to bring about change. Many are reasonably upset by this, so we're here to offer advice in making a difference. Mm -hmm. Uh, There are no interactions on that thread whatsoever. Yeah, uh, that's not surprising. Of violently racist. (laughs) These these cookies that they have had their uh, palates swapped will reach... A violent racist, and they w- they will be emboldened by it, and they yes. will weaponize it. <laughs> How will they do that? What does a guy that in a clan robe holding out a big a big printed a dot matrix printed picture of a cookie run <laughs> character that's all white? Yeah, <laughs> and then that will lead to I don't know. the violently racist thing. So. Uh... I mean that does that's so meaningless these days. But when especially <laughs> you know, when you're talking about, I mean, when actual uh, violent racism is pr- probably about as bad as it gets. I don't know how this can be on the same spectrum of uh, making someone doing fan art of a mobile game and making this quote unquote skin color their cookies, by the way, uh, a little bit lighter than they should. Somehow that's in the same argument as, uh, yeah, uh, stringing up a guy. <laughs> <laughs> to them, yeah. Okay. It's uh, you know what I'll equate it to the wrestling fans. It's real to me, damn it. Yeah. Uh, to these right. freaks, this is a one hundred percent real life. Maybe that's maybe it is just a whole wrestling thing for these people. They, kinda, know, they know it's fake, but they have to keep <laughs> up the, uh, the the kayfabe. Yeah. They, there's no way they actually believe this stuff. I would. I can't imagine they do. But check folks go over on and uh, check out at Wildberry Cookie who tweets, I don't know, 20, 25 times a day about Cookie Run. I actually I almost grabbed one of their threads for this. Uh, it, was, it was about uh, first, the first thing says a trigger warning Orientalism. <laughs> it's about one of the cookies. Is supposedly... Oh, but yeah, it made it was so you had to be so steeped in the lore. Right. It made yeah. No I, sense. I went whatsoever. to copy and I was like, oh. God, forget this shit. There's just some stuff that's like, God damn it. That happens way too much with this show where I'm like, all right, this is something good, but I'm like, I just, I can't. I have to explain I can't. To I, have to, I have to learn it first, which I don't want to do. Then I have to explain it. Which I also don't <laughs> yeah. want to do. I'm trying to make this show as 
painless as possible, generally speaking. Uh, so this is, uh, you can imagine, Cookie Run having a big uh, fandom, big over there on Reddit. It's from the subreddit R, Cookie Run. This fandom can get so toxic just because an artist draws a cookie's dough color a fracture lighter than the original. Mm. Deleted user said, I just saw all the cookies as Koreans and Asians. <laughs> I'm guessing because the company is based out of Korea, but why people suddenly saw them as black and white people. Are they thought all dark-skinned people as black? Uh, okay, Butterscotch5983 responded, You do know a lot of cookies are POC-coded. Dark Choco, Cocoa Cookie, Mint Choco, Purple Yam Cookie, etc. <laughs> Obviously, if a cookie is dark-skinned, we will think they're black. Use your common sense. It's not that hard to use it sometimes. Uh, I looked at OK Butterscotch's uh, posting history. Uh-huh. Uh, they just recently responded to a year-old thread uh, from the subreddit R Advice asking, Is it racist to name my cat Blackie? <laughs> And uh, Butterscotch responded by saying, it's an offensive, disparaging term against a black person. Uh, And then Prince Cavendish responded to that with, this thread is from a year ago and they were naming a cat. It's not a slur to name a cat that. Well, you know. Mm, I don't don't think it is. I have three choices for names for my... Got a new black kitten. Got three choices. I got Blackie. Yeah. I got Darkie. Yeah. And I have Colored Man. Yeah. A... And then and then you have Mister Lovegrass <laughs> idea for a, a black cat name, uh, which is a that would be funny to ask if that name was right. I just need some advice. I have an idea for a cat name. I'm a big. What, I'm a big Lovecraft. I'm a big. Uh, uh, What's it? Cosmic horror fan. I'd thinking love to maybe call my cat Little N Word. Yeah. Uh, what's <laughs> Uh, positive, <laughs> negative, what's everybody thinking on that? You know, I'll consider everyone's opinions on this matter. <laughs> banned from... Yeah. <laughs> banned but, from our cat. Uh, Blackie, I don't think Blackie is offensive because it's, it, to me, it's pretty normal cat name. I would say more the issue is, can you just come up with anything a little better than a black cat? You just call him Blackie. Inky. Inky. Blinky. Clyde. Stinky. Sure. Uh, let's see what else. What else can we say that's kind of racist? Uh, crimey. <laughs> Watermelon Jim. Oh boy. Hey, speaking keeping on uh, kind of the same topic we've been on the last couple of posts. This is from the Cookie Run Kingdom Wiki sub forums, which nice. is a sick phrase. User ordinary mustard twenty two posted. For those of you who say that people are whitewashing cookies. We don't need to change art into a talk about skin color and racism. It's literally just art. Why would we need to do that? It's literally the artist's choice. So I asked the people who say whitewash to artists, why are you being such a, quote, squeeb? Mm. Mm. Colorful Chaos replied, if you looked at a cookie, for an example, mint choco, and drew them with pale skin, wouldn't it be weird to say that he's white now because you didn't want to draw him black and it's your choice? Why wouldn't you draw, want to draw his normal skin color? Before you say they're cookies, they don't have skin colors. Most of the cookies have normal skin tones you would find in the real world. Lastly, they're humanized cookies. Cookies that act like humans, sound like humans, think like humans. I thought we discussed this the last time we talked about whitewashing. <laughs> and user Hoshiko Suku commented, they're just cookies to me. Brother, they're all just pink on the inside, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm thinking they might be very, very light tan on the inside. It's <laughs> true. Jesus, uh, having multiple conversations about cookies being white and having to uh, reference. And apparently there was a, uh, there was a, uh, a quorum was found there was everyone decided what the answer was i guess <laughs> did, did, we already we already hashed everything out we know the answer that it is in fact racist to do. <laughs> it has been legally it is now racist to do that <laughs> the supreme court has made the decision <laughs> the official clarence thomas cookie run skin <laughs> is being released this week in, in celebration of roe v wade being mm-hmm. overturned <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it, wouldn't it be weird to say that he's white now? No. It's a it's a cookie cartoon. Can 
it, it makes you can an item have a race to it like the reason why they're different colors is not because of uh their humanoid race is because it's a video game company that wanted to make different colors appear on their screen and then make these characters that you have to collect and pay money to buy. Yeah. That's... It's not, <laughs> these are just weird ass Korean guys making, <laughs> using different colors to make different characters that people will pay money. For. And if I know anything about Koreans, they do not like diversity much. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so, Kind, they everyone looks pretty similar over there. Oh no, I just mean they're they are very racist. Oh. Very racist. I don't know about that. Ah, I wouldn't know. I know you don't talk to them. Well, Koreans, I don't. But... I don't think of them as humans. I don't okay. know if that counts. Okay. Okay. Now we'll get back to the post in a second. But first, this episode of Report This Post is brought to you by Manscaped, the best in men's below the waist grooming. And this month, Manscaped would like to introduce you to their best and biggest ultimate hygiene bundle yet, the Platinum Package 4.0. Manscaped has been known as the leader in below-the-waist grooming. Now trust them with the whole shebang. Join the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping using promo code REPORT20. Manscaped's brand new Platinum Package 4.0 is the biggest bundle they've ever offered, giving you a bulk discount on Manscaped's top products. Inside this platinum package, you'll find their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, weed whacker ear and nose hair trimmer, ultra premium body wash, ultra premium two in one shampoo plus conditioner, ultra premium deodorant, crop, crop reserver, anti shaving ball deodorant, crop reviver ball spray toner, anti shaving boxers, and the shed travel bag to hold your goods while traveling. Now, we've been using Manscaped products over here for a few months, and for me, it's changed my grooming routine entirely. And hey, with the Platinum Package 4.0, you can now completely upgrade your shower routine as well with the Ultra Premium Body Wash and Ultra Premium 2-in-1 Shampoo Plus Conditioner. You'll have your skin and hair feeling hydrated and smelling fresh. Now, both the Lawnmower 4.0 Body Trimmer and Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer feature proprietary advanced skin-safe technology to protect your delicate parts and holes. Both are waterproof, so you can shave with less mess. And hey, speaking of less mess, their Crop Reserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Ball Toner will keep your boys tight and dry. Once they touch your sack, you'll never go back. Unzip your pants and see Platinum. Get 20% off and free shipping using promo code REPORT20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com using promo code REPORT20. That's REPORT20. It's time you enjoyed the finer things in life, so why don't you get a Platinum package for your Platinum package with Manscaped. This one was actually posted on the official Cookie Run Twitter account. The City of Wizards event is ending in a few days, and you shared so many cool fan art drawings about it. Hashtag Cookie Run, hashtag Oven Break. So let's have a look at some of them. And uh, they included four indecipherably gay cartoons drawn by fans. <laughs> I can't, like, again, just colors on the screen. I couldn't tell what I was even looking at. A uh, user named Grand Romantic has an idea, though. They responded, Y'all stay posting these pale, washed-out drawings. They're so gross. And the official Cookie Run account actually responded to that with, You're free to have your opinion, but please don't be mean to the artists who spent a lot of time on these drawings. And seriously, though, these drawings are great. Well-spoken Rambler said, The art style can be skilled in of itself, mm. but Grant's commentary about the whitewashing at play is a legitimate criticism. The artists saw your own designs and subconsciously decided that they, quote, weren't as good for having darker cookie dough. That's the issue at play here. And a guy named Kuro Lee 97 who was actually one of the artists featured in that first post, responded, I never said that they weren't good enough. Different people have different fetish. You can't expect everyone to draw the same. <laughs> to which well-spoken rambler said, Fetish? And uh, I looked into the artists, and they appear to be uh, someone from Vietnam, and they have specifically a white person fetish. Okay, so, yeah. That's their <laughs> thing. But that's not... <laughs> I think that's a push in terms of uh, but the racism. Of the, yeah, I don't know if you can clock that one under whitewashing, because yeah. it's a little different. I mean, they are clearly fetishizing oh, white God. skin <laughs> but they're vietnamese <laughs> from just, vietnam not even 
like an American. They're just a straight up Vietnam guy. <laughs> just the, Charlie. Being the the multimedia director at the Cookie Run factory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> being like, well, I'm just going to go about my day. Hey, look at all this great fan art. I'm going to collect some of it and post it. And just straight up posting fetish art. Like, <laughs> like under the radar fetish art. Yeah. And being like, isn't this great, everybody? And like, oh my God. But what's really great is the. The guy who did that was like, hey, look, everyone has a fetish. <laughs> That's why we all draw all these cookie cartoons. We have our own fetish. You're going to crucify me <laughs> over my thing? Okay. Everyone else is jerking off to this stuff. <laughs> I, I tweak it a little bit. A little bit for it to make it work for me, and I'm the bad guy. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I think when you draw, when you do fan art, you should make sure that every single thing looks exactly like the original thing. That's that's really good fan art, right? <laughs> it should be the exact same hues, but Pantone guide and all. Fucking make sure everything matches exactly. Brother, I saw people talking about how you can go into the game and crack it and pull the color from. <laughs> uh, <it's> like, <laughs> go outside. Go outside. Do anything. <laughs> cool. Hey, speaking of folks that don't know about this game, like your beloved host, Reddit user underscore sacred underscore pan asked what is cookie run over on the subreddit r cookie run great place to ask i would say just discovered this fandom via a vor subreddit Mm. can someone explain me what is this game Mm. spilled noodles commented it's basically an endless runner with cookies the story is that the cookies are created by witches who eat the cookies so they have to escape the oven and the witch's house it has a gotcha mechanic to get cookies, pets, and costumes. It gets new updates with new cookies or buffed old cookies about every month or so, and every cookie and their combination pet have unique abilities. Also, I'm very concerned about how you found out. Uh, so the OP of this post, uh, they post a lot over in R Vor I R R R L, R Wholesome Vor, mm. and R Kirby. <laughs> Very thematic overall. Yes, very uh, very connected. Never really put the two and two together on the uh, Kirby being Vor, but I guess what yeah. o- what else is it other than that? That's so. probably where most of this shit started. <laughs> a, kid, a kid playing Kirby's Dreamland and hearing that vacuum sound for the first time and being like, "I, I sexual awakening has just happened within me." Uh, uh, we did a whole Vor episode, if I recall correctly. Yeah, not that long ago either. Let me see. Let me look at the episode list. So you can go to reportspost.com. We got a whole episode list of everything. I've even added an alphabetized version if you want that. Uh, 154. Yeah. So. Not almost a year almost ago. Almost a year ago. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Time means nothing. Jesus Christ in heaven. Especially when you're having fun. Oh, yeah. Or when you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out it's both. <laughs> just it just kind of happens, folks. It just there's really you know. no no fighting. It just just bend over and take it. <laughs> hey, uh, so Twitter user Shadow Peach started this uh, thread. Very pertinent question. Cookie Run followers, I have a question: Is Sea Fairy Cookie canonically a lesbian or canonically <laughs> sapphic? Also, the same question for Moonlight Cookie. <laughs> To clarify, when I ask if they're canonically a lesbian, I mean, do they canonically show a disinterest in men, or are they referred to as a lesbian by any of the creators? And uh, <laughs> at Fishkits said, they're both canonically sapphic. The account runner for the official Cookie Run account has publicly said that uh, Sea Fairy is a lesbian, but on their personal account. So we don't really know if that should be counted as canon. Uh, Black Cat Girls commented sea fairy and moonlight i believe are canonically lesbians but then they came back and added wait sea fairy i think is a canon lesbian but moonlight is very sapphic coded great uh black cat <laughs> girls bio <laughs> reads 18 sublation zzem autistic <laughs> trans misogyny exempt arrow ace gender queer lesbian okay um <laughs> I don't know what sublation. You know, is. they just go. They be going online and they sublation. I googled it. There's no results. It's really. How is that even possible? Maybe I spelled it wrong. 
Sublation. The way they spell it, it's there's no results, which seems <laughs> I oh, identify wait, I as look. Sebastian the Crab. From uh, I'm so so it's Blasian, Black Asian, but with a S E. What would the S E stand for? Southeast. That's probably it. Okay, that has to be it. So Southeast Asian Black. So what? It's so Japanese. Is that what that means? Japasian. Why don't you just say Japasian? Let's. Oh wait, no, that was Japasian. Just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just... a blend of uh, Japanese and Asian. <laughs> Blapanese. Now there you go. Now that's Blapanese. Good... <laughs> These just discussions Asian. not only are confusing <laughs> due to all the uh, uh, the words that we don't know because we're yeah. nine thousand years old, uh, but also <laughs> and again. Cannot stress this enough. They are cartoon cookies from a video yes. game. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, the fact if they were or were not lesbians does not matter. Cannot, cannot. <laughs> cannot How matter. could you just say they are? <laughs> or you know, don't again, say it. Again, if Whatever. it's real to you, that's great. Uh, you don't have to post. <laughs> what does transmisogyny exempt mean? That means from, Okay. I remember I detailed this the other day. It's a uh, <laughs> so Turn your social studies. You're uh, it means you're you, you are you can you are against misogyny specifically against trans women, I believe, as opposed to misogyny against women. This is specifically. Anti trans okay. woman All right. misogyny. <clears throat> okay, I, I got believe it. that's what that means. Okay, that seems fair. But it's an odd It's an odd thing to, to advertise. You can just say you like trans women. You don't have to be like, I'm against hating them <laughs> specifically. <laughs> so you like them. Oh god, no. I just don't think I mean, should, Oh no, no, I barely tolerate them. I just don't hate them. <laughs> No love lost here, Brad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> hey, a Reddit user posted, what's the one cookie run opinion you have that's going to end up like this? And included that sword pointing meme from Tangled that everybody's been, mm-hmm. was using six months ago or something. Yeah. Post that over on the subreddit, our cookie run. A now deleted user replied, one, the game sucks. Two, the rabbit thingy sucks. Three, Oven Break is just a geometry dash game that's an easy version with cute characters. Four, I hate that they will never ever confirm that they have or supported LGBT, even though it's pretty obvious some of the cookies are gay. (laughs) Five, some cookies are cringe. Six, Cookie Run Kingdom is boring and will get rot to death just like Cookie Wars. Seven, I hate that they sponsor YouTubers YouTubers that are kid-friendly to make the kids play their game. Eight, I hate cookie traps. Like, my understanding is that is a lie. Imagine how I felt when I found out that Plum Cookie is a boy. Um, Nine, Ice Juggler Cookie is just pedo bait. I would want to bang her if I was a pedophile. (laughs) The non-furry wolf replied, hey, number nine, WTF. Uh, hmm. I would say a couple of them, I would say. Yeah. (laughs) So... I'm, okay, I'm looking at Ice Juggler Cookie. I don't even know how you you can sexualize this thing. It looks kind of like a like a white version of the Pokemon Jinx, that that blackface <laughs> one. Yeah, but I can't even like I can't even tell what. Oh yeah, I see it. Uh, how is this even? How is it even possible to want to fuck this? Thing? Okay, but I mean, if you look at the fan art of it. People have okay. definitely <laughs> taken it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh boy. Yeah, this is weird. Why do people do this shit? Um, this is weird. We have a society have failed, really. Yeah. Yeah, this is weird. Uh, well, some Minecraft skins of this one. Very cool. Oh, very cool. Very healthy fandoms all this shit god it's just it doesn't look like anything like i wouldn't it doesn't yeah that's the thing i i think it's hard for me to 
even relate to this stuff because it doesn't I can't connect with this art style whatsoever. Yeah. Like so, like some of these like animation sprites. I wouldn't even tell that it was like supposed to be a child or a person or anything. Yeah, I know cuz like and the thing too is there's the sprites are so small. Yeah, I don't know. It just doesn't and then people decide to turn these into things they want to fuck. So, yeah, it's, hey folks, got to I'm going to be the first to come out and say I don't want to fuck the cookies. I know yeah. it's a shocking revelation. God, but. Man, you, these people have access to every possible genre of porn. Know, right? You just on literally their, type on the in same phones boob. that they're playing this dumb shit. <laughs> and they're jerking off to this stuff. But it's not a cookie. It's not an unattainable, you know. It must yeah, it must be some sort of like that stuff's too easy. This is this is the challenge. <laughs> don't know why you need a challenge for beating off. But... Oh, there's a Santa Claus cookie. He's cool. Eggnog. Okay, I like that name. He's like a buff daddy. Oh, he's okay. You know what? Never mind. Mm. I'm, I'm going down a rabbit hole because he's <laughs> he's really sexy. <laughs> All right, I've reversed oh, my. You know what? He does look like <laughs> something I could see you costuming one year oh yeah that's like a kurt that's like if kurt that's russell, kurt russell was, yeah. as is from that santa as, movie. as santa as a as a cookie yeah it's not bad i i reverse my the cookies are sexy. Just, he wants to fuck the cookies. <laughs> you definitely want to fuck the cookies great uh i found this on the subreddit r cookie run 34 which oh, is no. for fans of cookie run <laughs> To share hot, sexy drawings of their favorite Cookie Run characters. Sure. Uh, however, NSF Michirushi had to ask this to the subreddit. Why are Rule 34 drawings of aged-up, underage cookies banned on this sub? People probably don't want to get banned from posting underage cookies, but they are aged up in the picture, lol. Uh, user said, because it's sexualizing minors? Yeah. Yeah. And the OP responded, I know, but a tag called Problem Cookie on Twitter has a lot of problematic cookie run stuff involving cookies who appear to be minors. Uh-huh. Uh, and uh, yeah, went to that hashtag, and first thing I found was a drawing of a cookie turned into a little girl and getting fucked. So, <laughs> And the person that posted that goes by it, they pronouns, sure. which is okay. fascinating. Yeah, that's good. Never heard of that one, that uh-huh. combo before. But apparently that kind of combo loves to picture a cookie turned into a child that they can fuck. <sighs> Terrific fan base. Uh, Why not just draw a normal child? Why does it have to be a former cookie? <laughs> Again, it's I like, mean, I also don't think you should be doing that. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't suggest doing that. I just don't know how you go from ones, how those <laughs> steps are even made. It, it does seem like a big leap, right? <laughs> It does seem like a big leap. Um, Good God. Boy, yeah, I I don't remember sexualizing things. You know what the first thing I ever thought sexy was when I was a kid, and I was probably like 10 or 11, was uh, Ula from Return of the Jedi. I was like, that's sexy. I think we've mentioned her pretty recently. Wow. Now that I think about it. That would, uh, I think that's uh, one of our bonus episodes where we were wasted drunk and uh what <laughs> uh, who <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> and watching return of of uh yeah i don't know man i just i think that uh, maybe right. kids have a little bit uh they have a little bit too free, much freedom getting on the internet and seeing stuff they're not supposed to right now yeah yeah i would say so God damn! And then the, but the biggest problem is that there's just huge communities for this shit. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's one thing to just see the cookie and be like, oh, "That gives me weird feelings." But oh, there's thousands of other people that have the same fucking thoughts. <laughs> they just like me for real. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, yeah. Good God. Well, the next post actually deals in that as well. Right. Someone posts a little comic to the subreddit our cookie run of one character saying, "Why do Europeans make fun of Americans for not being in 2022?" And the other character responding, you scared me. Which is just a really weird setup. Don't quite get it. User worthhall4451 asked, what? (laughs) And user it's that meme dealer replied, okay, to keep it brief to you and everyone coming here right now, this is part one of a two panel comic of poison mushroom cookie fucking onion cookie in the ass. (sighs) 
User economy debt eight one three zero asked, "Who would make that stuff?" And user it's that meme dealer replied, "Very bad people." <laughs> Pedophile comic. To which user Noah Karpov said, "Well, in canon, they're both children." <laughs> and user you can't change this later zero responded, "Did you just try to justify pedophilia by saying they're both children?" The ultimate loophole for <laughs> guys caught with child porn. Uh, 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 they're both kids. <laughs> so. Oh, me? No, I'm not. No. I'm not fucking them. It's two kids. I'm watching videos of two children fucking. <laughs> so it's fine. I'm, 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 I am a simple observer. <laughs> There's no grown ups involved. <laughs> it's totally. Remove me, you know what, officer? Remove me from the equation, and it's perfectly natural. <laughs> In fact, the videos are on my computer, but who's to say I'm actually watching them? They might just they might just exist as files. <laughs> yeah, I was holding on to them to get rid of them later, actually. Yeah. I downloaded all of them to keep them off, <laughs> off the internet. That's how that works. <laughs> I took away the copy online <laughs> of all that porn. And now it's now it's gone. And let me tell you, it took some it, it took, took some a doing. lot of <laughs> lot of Tor browser. <laughs> Okay, all right. <clears throat> yes, anywho. This episode's bad. All right, we're going to stop right here because we're going to finish the rest of this episode over on patreon.com slash report this post. That's right. If you enjoyed this first 20-ish to 30-ish minutes of the episode, you'll be happy to know that there's about an hour extra of this one over there uh, on patreon.com slash report this post. Head over there. And all you got to do is subscribe for five bucks a month. You'll get every single full episode with dozens of more posts a month, plus an additional bonus episode every single week. Unbelievable. This is literally millions of posts that we read on the air uh, every single month, possibly billions. I have not counted. In fact, I can't count. I'm actually illiterate as well. But irregardless, patreon.com slash report this post, and we'll see you over there, and God bless.